yo what is up everyone today i'm going to show you how to set up favorite studio with obs i've seen a lot of questions and confusion in the discord server regarding what needs to be done to you know display your desktop display your game and you know how to set up properly so hopefully this video is able to help you out with any questions that you have so first step to you know use studio you have to apply and get approved by favorited once you know you've done all that and you've gotten access you'll go to this website right here studio.favorited.com slash live your first time going it'll ask you to log in you put in your information log in and you go to the screen a little bit about you know what is being shown here so the connect box or connect tab is going to show you anyone who is asking you to co-host the viewer tab is going to show you anyone watching your stream audio box this is where you're going to add an audio source activity tab is going to show you any gifts being donated and then the chat is where you read chat and then this is what is being shown on your stream right here so first step i would go here to the settings the gear settings and this is where you set up your stream settings you have the video settings and audio settings most of this is what was already set as default i have 60 fps but depending on your wi-fi and you know your computer adjust that accordingly and uh, resolution there's only one video bit rate i have it at the max the higher you have this you know bit rate at, the better quality will be and then streaming priority you have audio video balanced i have it on balanced audio you have channels i just have two sample rate just have it at 40, uh, 48 sample size i have a 16 bit audio bit rate i should have that at 500 um higher quality but requires more bandwidth so depending on your wi-fi what it can handle you know just that accordingly and then any you know filters for your microphone you add this here gain control echo cancellation noise suppression voice isolation I do all that through a third party app, so I don't have any of these set up. Once you're done, save changes. You have these three or two buttons hide video, so hide whatever you're showing on, you know, stream, mute, if you need mute for a second. So next, you can add an audio source. So here's where you can add your microphone. So here's my microphone. You know, it'll be um, going through if this bar is moving like this so anytime i talk it goes up and if you need to adjust it you go down if you need to remove it remove source or if you need to mute it you press that so to get your desktop audio that in itself is a whole different video i'd have to make it's a little hard right now but the favorite devs are working on it to make it a little bit easier to stream your desktop audio next step is setting up you know Here's where the mo you know confusion comes from. How do I stream my desktop? I'm going right here, but it's only giving me webcams that I have. This is where OBS comes in handy. So I'm going to link this in the description. You know, select your operating system. So I have Windows. I'll press Windows and press Download Installer. Run the installation file. Get that, you know, running. One, it, when it opens up, once you have that installed open that up and it's going to show up like this none of this will you know be here it's going to be blank but the main things that you would need to do to the basics to get set up is you're gonna have to add a scene so press the plus create a scene put the name press ok next once you have that you're going to add sources so for example, this is my live. When I'm live, this is what it's going to show up. It's not going to show up like this, you know, all of this. It's only going to show up, you know, the vertical aspect ratio. But I have a window capture capturing what my Spotify is playing. I have this black box, but this is usually where my game play, gameplay is. I have text right here. So if someone donates 400, you know, in gifts. It interacts with my game that I'm playing, so no buy this round or drop my gun. 
Um, so this is where you would set up these elements and customize it to your liking. So, you know, you add source display capture is to show a specific monitor game capture to set up a specific game image to put an image up on the screen text to set up your text video capture is to set up your webcam and window captures to set up, set up a specific window that you have so either chrome discord etc once you customize this to your liking and you know have your games you know all set up next step would be to start virtual camera you click that and it'll turn blue and you know it's going once you know it says stop virtual camera you'll go back to the favorite application or favorite studio sorry and go here and obs virtual camera will be an option you click that and it's gonna find you know you know it works once it shows up what obs is streaming so this is how my life you know looks so i have my spotify my game my text this is what your viewers see any customization is done on obs you know you can't move anything on here in uh studio it'll be all done through obs that's basically all you need to do you can you know stream your gameplay stream your phone you can set that up um there's plugins to you know connect your phone to obs so you can you know show your phone like if you want to facetime people stuff like that if you want to share your screen be on discord have like discord calls uh comedy sh you know talent shows you know there's so many things you can do with obs and studio um this is a great application to have it can you know boost your engagement with viewers um, and just make your streams more entertaining. Um, if you've had any questions with, you know, what I just showed you, drop the, a comment below. I'll try to answer it. Um, any technical questions, go to the Discord, favorite Discord, and contact staff or open up a uh, support ticket so they can support you with any, you know, technical questions that you might have. Um, you know, last step, almost fair to mention, you're going to press go live, title your stream, and you know you're live, you're live when this button right here, or this little circle, goes red. Um, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like, subscribe, uh, and thank you for watching.